Hi friends, welcome back. And today we are going to discuss about hooks in our cucumber period with the types. Okay. Basically, we have uh, hooks in our cucumber playwright or uh, total six, and basically we can call it as a three only. Before, before all, before step, after, after all, and after step. Okay, these are the hooks we have in our cucumber playwright with the time step. Why these hooks we need to use it? Basically, uh, when you want to export some database queries before scenario or before step. Okay. Uh, imagine like now you have the step here. In this step is required to get some data from. Now you are not passed from him, but you are getting from the username and password from database. Imagine. Okay. For this, you have to hit from the DB and you need to get it. Whether we can able to hit from the entire suit level or we can able to hit from the scenario level or we can able to hit from step level. These are the three conditions we can able to hit it. And we can able to get from the DB and we can pass that username and password from the particular method. This is the way we can able to use it. Why this before step and before all and before method can work, right? Before is basically a scenario level. Means if you have 10 scenarios, like now there are two scenarios in here, right? In these two scenarios, if you use before, it will work for each scenario level, okay? Each scenario level, it will export. Before step, if you are exported, each step time, it will export. And before all it is there, it will export for entire suit level. Or you can able to create wherever you created that particular location, it will create. Okay, these are the conditions we have. How it will work and how we can able to see those things, we'll see, now, okay? Just I'm going to give the simple example and then I'll go to share that one simple question with the another video. I will show you how we can able to create a shared uh, shared locators and shared objects. How we can able to create those things also we can able to see. Okay. Now I'm going to create here books dot a future. This is my future. Okay. And then I'm going to create the similar format as the step called uh, hooks dot ts file. Okay. Now I'll copy this particular file and I'll go to the cucumber. Okay. And here I saved it. Okay. Because I need to run only the particular hook itself. Future. And then I'm going to keep it like a hooks. Testing. Okay. Now I want to create for scenario. In this scenario, I uh, hooks one and given uh, checking hooks or uh, when uh, Something I'm going to give just a random because we need to check. Simple example, I'm not going to exit any uh, web browser under that. I'll show you the next video session. Okay. Here I can able to win testing books. Then checking. Then just like this. And if you create for n number of scenarios, and that n number of scenarios will work similar. Okay. Scenario. Okay. okay. And now I'm going to make this some format. Format. And the steps wise, I'll go to here. I'll uh, copy this first one. And I'll go for here and I'll paste it. Okay. And then again, I will go for here and I will copy these three things. Okay, I'll come back here. Keep it like this. And then this is my step. I'll come back here and I'll paste it. I'll do more. Okay, similar format for remaining things. Okay. 
Again, I'll copy here and I'll uh, remove unwanted food. Okay. Now our steps got uh, successfully we have created. Okay, and then here I'm going to use for console dot log. Okay, and here I will uh, use for give a This then just for I'm going to show display only for message. Okay. And then I'm going to take my time now. Whether in this particular feature for whether we are able to hit for SIP frame or not, we'll see. Okay. Now I'm hitting now. Two scenarios, six times. You see. Three times this one and three times again. Okay. Total six. Six steps got passed and two scenarios. Okay. Now we are able to hit for six steps. Now our main concept is before and before all and before step. And the after and after all and after step. This is the concept, right? Now we'll see for one by one how we can able to hit it. Now before. Before step. Before all. Okay, and then after, after all, and after step. Okay, our thing, uh, things are added. Now here, I'm going to create for my before step. Okay, and this is basically async functions. Then we can create for async function. And I'm going to create like this. Okay. Now, after this, I'll create for before all and the single format of function creation is in. I'll copy this particular one and I'll paste it here as well. Okay. And before step. Okay. And the same one. Okay. Now, we need to create for after. We'll create like this. After all, and then after step. Okay, now we are able to create for all of these. Now I'm copying this one. I'll paste one by one. We'll change for this one as a before and before all and this is before step okay and the similar format here after after all after step okay and we can see here step and all before Okay, and as per uh, the requirement we have added. What I have explained before starting, basically before step, every step time it will execute, means every single step location time it will execute. And before all, it will execute for one time in a suit, and this is basically a scenario level. Okay, we can see now execution again. Now I can sit down and this is all of my executions. Okay, we'll copy into our notepad. See now, you can see before all and after all execute for one time. Okay, and before, okay, and again after it is executed for one time in a scenario level. Okay. Again, it is started for second signal. Okay. And after, before. And before step, every step time it is executed. If you see. Okay. 
like this it will work this is a basic food concept and one more thing is like now we are created for one particular location every time we are not going to create the same step definition file right now see two step, step definition i want to access this location also my particular before and after whether it will work we'll see now we'll execute for login feature okay login or logout anything we can able to hit i'll take this particular scenario okay and i'm going to here in the book location i'll re replace login scenarios okay i'm just i'm going to run which one i'm running just for this logout this particular one okay whether it will work or not we'll see it got failing see here is executed here and before all before and before step and which step it is executed is not provided okay because our step got failed okay and if you cast in this and if you use for login one and if you go to in your location and if you replace it and we can see for the login location as well okay See here one time it is got failed because of the scenario location and uh, remaining cases got missed. Okay. Like this, we can able to work out and even we can see for a later decision how we can able to create for shared before and after. Now this is also a kind of shared, but this is basically just for here I created only for messages. Right. We can able to create for objects page objects like uh, browser object or we can able to page objects we can able to share for across all the places and we can able to refer for even here you can see now here we created for page object browser and page these options we have created right? the similar format even we can able to create for another places also Okay, how we can able to create those things and how we can able to use it. Those things we can check into a later session. Okay, I hope this information helps for you to understanding. Thank you for watching and please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues. Thank you.